Today I'm going to do a quick video on the Switch Easy Vulcan case for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. After checking out the iSkin Solo effects for my wife's phone, and I wasn't crazy about the design, I went out and I picked up uh, just a solid black iSkin Solo. Where I like the material, it doesn't fit as well as the effects does on her phone and I wasn't crazy about how this lip laid down so the regular eye skin solo didn't work for me I did a lot of research finding a case similar material a lot of people raved about the switch easy Vulcan I decided to go out try this out I've had switch easy cases in the past the rebel the neo they make great stuff so I decided to try it out um, this is it. I'm not really going to unbox it. I'm sure you've seen this stuff a million times. Switch Easy gives you two screen protectors, a uh, little brochure on the company. They give you two dock protectors, two headphone protectors, which is great. I mean, chances are you're, you're probably going to lose these, and, you know, it's really nice to have extras. Most of their cases, they give you universal docks. The Vulcan, I guess because it's a lower end, lower priced case, I should say, uh, they don't give you that. They do give you the worthless microfiber that's too small for any human's fingers and the piece of cardboard they call, uh, you know, to smooth out the bubbles as you put the screen shield on. I don't use their screen shields. They might be great. They might not. I've never put it on. I use the Stein Steinheil um, anti-glare, so... Um, that's going to stay on my iPhone. So, there you go with that. Packaging. They've changed their packaging. You've all seen it. Big deal. Here's the case. The material feels a little bit stiffer to me than the Solo or the Solo effect. Uh, solo effects. And it has a little bit rougher on the inside and it's got a design, which is nice. Um, not too flashy. I got the smoke case. It's a bit see-through, so you can see the Apple logo uh, through the case, which is it's a nice feature. So, according to their instructions, and I see a lot of people who do these videos do this wrong and then whine how the holes don't line up, they always like to stick it in from top to bottom. The instructions tell you to put it in from bottom to top. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, bottom to top. So it goes on very easy. As you can see, going from bottom to top with hardly, uh, I haven't massaged it or done anything yet and the hole lines up almost dead on. I could give it just a little bit push and uh, there it is, lined up perfectly. The bottom lines up good uh, you might have to move it around just a little bit but for the most part it drops in there perfectly very smooth uh, it's a slick case they say it's scratch proof I don't know about scratch proof I'd say very scratch resistance uh, resistant it's, it's a smooth soft pliable material they call it a hydropolymer uh, might be I'm not a materials expert so couldn't tell you that. A um, couple of the things that I really like, the protectors are fantastic. Um, you can't stress enough. I mean, Apple is so crazy about those water sensors that the ability to protect this stuff is, is key. One of the problems I see everybody having with this, this dock protector is when they plug in the bottom, and I don't think you're going to be able to see this on camera very well but when you plug in the bottom dock protector it causes this to lift up off your bezel and basically I, I've come up with a very simple solution and as silly as it seems a pair of scissors will solve this problem all you need to do and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see me do this on camera either, is trim just a slight bit. Off the top, just like that. Uh, 
I trimmed a very tiny little piece and now when I plug in the dock protector it's almost perfect there's no lift the hole is completely covered and it's spot on so there's just a little tip for you if you have one of these and you're having that lifting problem just take your pair of scissors just shave the top just cut the very top of the dock protector off and uh, that eliminates the problem well that's about it I just want to do something really short on this um, I highly recommend this case it's uh, I think it's gonna be the one that's gonna take over my uh, everyday case from the spec candy shell I've used that for a long time I really like that case but this material is really really nice and it feels good in your hand other than the lifting port which I've come up with a solution. The only other thing I don't like are the molding lines on the sides. Uh, it's not that I care that you see them. They're a little bit... Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. They're a little bit sharp. And uh, I don't know, I might figure out a way to smooth that. But anyway, that's it. That's uh, my quick review on the Switch Easy Vulcan. Thanks for watching.